Um, hi everyone, we're the fire breathing rubber duckies. Today we're gonna show what we've uh, tried to do with two arms and having cameras and three cameras in our system. So I guess I wanna ask a question to the group itself is what do you think the most important part of a robotic system is or robotic diffusion policies are? Uh, it's calibration and good data, in my opinion. So whenever we try to calibrate the Lee robot or the steps they've given us, it's actually good for it to move in a robotic sense, but it's not good to tell you up as a human, right? Because you're trying to move the arm and you're trying to grip in like this awkward position. So what we've done innovatively is we've essentially changed the way we do calibration itself, where we or rotate the calibration by 90 degrees uh, for the yeah for the gripper so that the camera actually views down into the gripper where it's picking up. Another thing is we also added motors back into one part of the arm because we were hitting singularity. So to make sure that uh, basically the elbow joint, so we have more traction in that one location. So that allows us to teleoperate much better and easier. The unique thing is we've trained on NVIDIA Groot N1 and we've got the best results out of all the three policies. Uh, this is a model that was released two days ago at NVIDIA GDC. Uh, we've also trained on ACT and Pi Zero models. We've deployed ACT and Groot N1 uh, as well. Pick and place from the cup to the, to the plate as well as pick from the plate to the cup as well. Both by manually and they actually wait for each other to complete. So. Uh, and uh, both robots run one single model itself when they're completing the task. Okay. Um, awesome. Well, thank you so much, everyone. And, you know, we, today we have an exciting thing to share with you. We are the Circuit Launch home team. Uh, I'm Dominic Lee. <laughs> with that said, we have an exciting presentation for you. So instead of me doing the talking, we have a, a put together a video that will do a lot of the talking and demonstration, and then we'll give you a live demo of everything. Introducing Project OmniFest a hands-free gesture-controlled robot assistant for hazardous material handling. This project leverages cutting-edge technologies to create a hands-free, remotely operated robot assistant capable of picking up and transporting critical or hazardous objects in unpredictable environments. By combining gyro-palm gesture control, intelligent object manipulation, and dynamic teleoperation, we've created a solution that tackles latency issues common in remote control systems, while improving accessibility for those with disabilities or reduced mobility. Our project integrates a Lee Robot open source robotic arm mounted on an Omnibot V2 mobile base platform. Our solution has the ability to dynamically pick up objects even if displaced or rotated, making it an ideal solution for handling hazardous materials, assisting disabled users with medication retrieval, or serving as a tabletop butler in busy work environments. Prior training is performed by the end user on various objects to demonstrate proper robotic gripping behavior. After dozens of samples, Training was initiated on the NVIDIA-powered GPU computer named Kira. Using the ACT, or Action Chunking Transformer policy, we are able to have the gripper dynamically locate objects at the closest table or workbench surface and move them onto the robot for further transportation to a designated waypoint. The Omnibot then autonomously drives to the designated location or optionally can be driven by a human operator using gestures with the gyropalm encore wearable. Uh, we collected 100,000 steps, but we have uh, tested the, the low-end and the high-end, and we find that there's not that much difference okay. in terms of our tests. Mm. So I, I think you meant only actual, the trials, not Oh, trials, 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 yeah, 20. 20. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very much. Yeah. yeah. So the way that I trained it was I tried to use very delicate motions because the idea is sometimes if you train it with very rough uh, motions, it'll just replicate as much as it can. And if it drops, then gravity happens and it bounces and so forth. So when you train, it's best to not toss it. Uh, 
because it's unpredictable. So grab and place is what's best. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,